case you didn't exactly catch what happened in that short video of Brumhilda, here's a few graphs to bring it all together. She started with a fixed amount of money, putting her production possibility curve around here. She had two ways she could invest it, one with a quite favorable ending and the other with a polar opposite. While they are both drastic exaggerations used to get my point across, day-to-day -day opportunity cost works in a similar way. Brumhilda could have chosen to invest in a consumption good, the ice cream, or a capital good, the pencil. The pencil led her to a happy, successful life, while the ice cream, an impulsive decision, led her to an unfortunate lifestyle riddled with drug abuse. When Brumhilda purchased the capital good, you immediately see the production possibility curve shift to the right. It shifts even farther rightward when she sells it to the handsome fellow standing in front of the caution tape. The opposite happens, however, when she makes the wasteful decision to purchase the ice cream and eventually discovers hard drugs. Remember to always invest in the capital goods. <laughs>